<laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wait, how'd that happen? I just walked by and look at him over there. <laughs> oh man, guys, careful when they're walking in Idaho. These people got their fishing poles out here. Dad got hooked. <laughs> So it's past all this? Yeah, it was over there. Price crashed the drone. The drone. So not very can't breathe as we're running. We're not having very good luck with our drones. You could get naked and swim across. Should I? How cold is it? I mean, it's the end of winter. <laughs> it's like the first big gas of snow. <laughs> I would say 40 degrees. That's hypothermia. What if you launch over into that pile of branches? If I can hit that. Nelly would do this just fine. I don't know, should I stick around here? Yeah, hang on for a sec. Ah, she knows her. Yeah, they're sticky, so you can't get them out. These ones are stuck. Oh, man. Okay. Let's go get she just sent me out of the that was, that was the dumbest decision I've ever made in my life. Yeah, you should Yes. Been. You can't get to it from there. We, we should have went over here and looked at the beginning. It's just sheer cliff. Yeah. Well, we thought it was shell rock like that. Sheer this is cliff. why I start listening to Nels. Wait.
So Bryce and Kevin went to look for the drone and went around one way. Me and D went around a different way to a different viewpoint and saw where it could be. So I went down a very dangerous place and I saw the drone and basically it was on the edge of the cliff and I like climbed back up so all of us are super muddy. All of us probably could have died. Definitely could have died. So we're at Home Depot to get some rope because I legitimately was like five feet away from it. But just, it was like mud and then a cliff. And it's just mud, mud, one tiny sagebrush that the drone miraculously hit. With that, if that wasn't there, it'd be over the cliff right now. And I was so close, but if I had tried to go get it and slipped, I would have gone over the cliff. Look at that. <laughs> and just nice. like my nails are <laughs> mud and I've I don't never, tell. I don't think either of us have prayed so hard in our lives. Yeah. I think we learned a very valuable lesson today because, yeah, that we could have died. Walking barefoot, my muddy feet butt. Are just, or my shoes are destroyed. They're like full of mud. That was just not smart. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. But prayer is real. That was dumb. So now we're getting a rope. We're going to lower Nels and Kevin and I are going to pull her up after she gets the drone. Because that's more safe. 14 bucks, 100 feet that big. 14 dollars, nice. I make tight. I mean, you guys all know you're Boy Scout. Not, so as long as you guys got that down, I'm good. Bowline. That's that's a better one. I think it's my life, I'd spend five more bucks. Yeah. <laughs> now, Zona would be even more safe. Let's have, put a chain around you. Then we could easily... That'll help. Do you want to wear safety glasses while we go? You could breathe better. I could honestly be tied off and be fine. Just as long as you are. Yeah. We go through her legs and yeah. her waist. And then bring the rest through. Yeah. I'm an eagle. You feel good about it? You trust Kevin and I? We do smart things. You need gloves? Like you guys the one time okay? you went repelling and you didn't tell me, but you tied the rope around a rock and I almost died because the rock started moving and you guys stopped it before I hit the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah. One time we went uh, down a canyon in Moab and we had nowhere to tie off, so we just put a ton of big rocks together and tied around it. And she repelled first, but it was only like 40 feet. It wasn't a huge repel, but enough. As she started repelling, the rock started moving. But we didn't tell her until afterwards. Yeah, let's do this. Let's start. We're back. We have a rope, and we're going about this the smart way. If you guys ever seen that that TV series? I shouldn't be alive. I realized while we were on our adventure to get the drone, all those people probably actually aren't idiots. They're probably smart people, because I consider Kevin and I smart. He's smart. He's an Eagle Scout. I'm an Eagle Scout. And we kept making decisions that we're like, okay, this is safe enough. We can go down a little bit further. But then I got to a part where I didn't want to have two crashed drones under my belt. And so I started bouldering across these cliffs near the water. And then I was like, oh, that's a little slant. I can go a little higher. Oh, I can... Um, pin myself in between these two pillars and so I was just like inching up and that was fine but then I got to a point where I couldn't go anywhere but up and I tried going back down to make it back to Kevin and I started to slip and fall and I caught something I was like okay that's not gonna work because it started to be a drop off and it was so slick and the ground was so wet that I'd get momentum and start to fall so I was like okay I'll go to the side it started to fall that way I'll go to the right it started to fall so I'm like sitting there on the one spot. I legit had a panic attack. I've never had an experience like that where I just was, I was like this, I can't go anywhere, this is it. So I turned around, I started climbing fast and started to slip and then I had to stop and chill. And then I had nowhere else to go but up. And that's when some miracles happened. If you ever wanna know more and you see me in person, you can ask me about it. But. Basically, I started climbing up and the ground gave way. And I stopped. I was supposed to keep falling, but I stopped. And at that time, Kevin felt sick. I, when we met up with each other, I told him about that. And he said around that time, he felt sick to his stomach and just prayed really hard and I legit would, should have fallen but I didn't and I was like pressed against a rock and just finally made it up to the top and just knelt and prayed and cried. So now we have a rope, we're back, we're gonna get it. It's, cold. it's cold. It is. There's a mist, a ton of mist. It's colder now than what it was, huh? Yep. 
TV, you just don't have as much adrenaline. That's true. Yeah. Tie it up. Should we tie it to here? Or no, I mean, if I we tie see. the rope off here as a safety. It won't reach. It won't? No. Okay, Mom. Going over. What am I doing? Oh, you're good. Well, you guys can do this, can't you? Yeah, yeah, we can do it. She's oh. worried. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be careful. So I'm just gonna show you, this isn't even the half of it with how muddy it is. Just slip and never look. Slip marks, slip marks. I gotta put this away so I can use my hands. So Kevin's gonna tie off over here. I'm gonna tie off down here. What, Nels? Talk louder. We should've got along a rope. This is sketch. Well, they already know that we're here now. There's people watching. Oh boy, we're those guys. There's Nelly climbing down, and Bryce and Kevin have the rope up top. She's cruising. We think the drone is th around here. that far to find it. I know it. I know it. I looked on I just I can She's pointing to where it is. That's a right on the cliff. Did she get it? Oh no, she has to go a little bit further. Oh my gosh. I think she has it. She got the draw! <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy smokes. You got it? Oh my gosh. She climbed all the way down. There's Bryce up there. And all of this. Those are the cliffs below her. Now she's climbing back up. Look at that though, wasn't that? She was down there all the way by herself. She was within five feet of that. By herself with no I rope. cannot believe that. Crazy lady. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> I didn't ask you to do this. I asked her not to do this. But she's Nelly. If you guys don't know Nelly, if you know Nelly, you know that this was her. I'm sorry, your parents are watching this. We're safe. So this is what I originally did by myself. So I got like four feet away from it and I knew I couldn't reach it. I could, but I knew way too risky. Way too risky. My legs are shaking, can we go? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe Nelly went down there. That's stupider than what Bryce and I did. <laughs> we went down there to go down around the ground, but it was all cliffs and Nelly went down this way. Which You're crazy, Nels. Promise me and the world you will never do anything like this again. Promise Nancy. Okay. Promise you your mom. Listen. Okay. Promise. <laughs> promise. I promise I'll always be safe. That was not safe. That was not safe. I was sweating bricks even just holding you. 
Okay, we gotta go up. We're gonna run out of battery. Good job, Nelly. <laughs> I cannot believe how far you went down without that rope. Like you kept going. That was crazy. crazy the first time you went down there. I don't know how you found it. I, so, you know how I was able to kind of like walk and then I got on my butt and I started sliding? You can't see the drone until where I walked, the very end, and then I saw the red light. And then I was like, I can get there. You guys got it. That's the thing, guys. Look at oh, my shoes. I have like cuts on my hands. Oh my god. Are you freezing? Not okay. cold. My, when I got up, my hand. Not okay at all. Well, we told her to not. Like, can't get it. That thing, let's see it. I don't know if it was worth it. <laughs> but here it is. <laughs> That's true. I don't know if it was worth it. I mean, I'm happy that we're alive. By the way, we know that this was totally stupid. We never should have done it. You don't need to leave a comment that we're dumb because we know that wasn't safe and nobody should try that and we're, we're never gonna try that again. I knew I could reach it. I went down there once and I, I knew my limit. That's why I came back up even though I was so close to it the first time because I knew I could probably grab it but it's not worth the risk. No, never do that again. No, I know. I'm telling you though. I'm telling you it's so stupid. Like, we know that was so dumb. We don't recommend we'll anybody back. ever doing that. It's not worth it. Um, yeah, so just know. But we know that. We got back last night. Didn't want to touch the drone. This determines if it was if all, all worth it. worth it. Oh, I thought the leaves that were flying off around it were the Watch blades. Yeah! Miracles! Miracles are real! The camera works! Good! It's working! It's working! Dad still has the fish hook in his coat from earlier today.